Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem we're going to be going over today. We're just going to express the limit as a definite integral on the given interval. So this is the limit that we're given. We have the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum from i equals 1 to n of the square root of 2xi star plus xi star squared all times delta x. And the given interval that we have is x equals 1 to 8. With this problem, basically what it's asking us to do is use the limit definition of an integral to rewrite this limit as an integral, as a definite integral. And it's going to be a definite integral because we were given this, uh, this interval right here from x equals 1 to 8. So in order to do this, what we're going to want to do is use the limit definition, which I do have on my Calculus 2 study guide. And there's a link to check that out in the description if you want to go grab that. But let's go ahead and just start with that formula. So like I said, this formula just comes from my Calculus 2 study guide. Link's in the description. But basically all this says is this just gives you the limit definition of what an integral is. So it basically says the, the integral from a to b of some function f of x can be rewritten as this limit as n goes to infinity of the sum from i equals 1 to n of some function where you're basically taking this f, this function f, and you're plugging in xi star, where xi star is essentially each split you know, as you kind of imagine slicing up the area under a curve into a bunch of little slices, this is all the, the edges of those splits. So this xi star is just each x value as you iterate through. And then we're going to multiply that by delta x, which is the step width from each step as you kind of split the area up into those smaller sections. So basically what we want to do here in order to express this limit that we were given as a definite integral, we're just going to compare this limit that we were given to this limit definition of a definite integral and kind of match up the pieces so that we can convert it to this other format. So we can see pretty clearly here that we have the limit as n goes to infinity. That's obviously the same in both of these limits. And then we're taking the limit of a sum from i equals 1 to n, and that's the same in both of these. So really what we need to do is figure out how this stuff that we're taking the limit and the sum of matches up with the stuff that we're taking the limit of and the sum of down here. So we can see pretty clearly that this delta x is going to correspond with this delta x here. So that is going to correspond with our dx over here in our integral. So basically what we need to do is figure out how our function within here is going to match up with some other f of x function. So really all that comes down to is taking the xi stars from these from this equation up here and basically changing those to an x so that we can get our f of x instead of our f of xi star. Changing our xi star to just x is essentially going to give us f of x. So that is going to mean that our f of x is going to be the square root of 2x plus x squared. All right, so this gives us f of x. And then our dx, like I said, that's just going to come from the delta x. And then we're going to have our integral, which we need to figure out the bounds of. And our bounds of our integral are essentially just going to be given from the interval that they gave us uh, in the initial problem. So our interval is from x equals 1 to 8. So that means we're going to integrate from 1 to 8 of this new function f of x, which we just took from here. And the dx just kind of indicates that we're integrating with respect to x. So this integral here is going to be equivalent to this limit here based on the limit definition of a definite integral. So like I said, this is a formula on my Calculus 2 study guide. There's a link in the description so you can check that out. It's only a few bucks. It should be super helpful for you to help, you know, get through your homework and study for tests if you're taking a Calculus 2 class. So go check that out. Hope it helps. Thank you and see you next time.